From my point of view, go to the left side of the place. Please form a demonstration to the left side of the place. Please make music. Left side of the place. When a German person first, you know, told me, I think what you're doing in Iraq and Afghanistan is genocide, mm -hmm. I was offended. It pissed me off. I was like, how dare you? And I was really, I was really upset by it. Cause I just had a lot of German friends from Heidelberg. You know, I didn't hang out with so many soldiers. I hung out with way more Germans. And, and so it was just, it wasn't even like the peace act. It was just regular Germans looking at me and saying, you need to compare what's going on now and what's going on then because because we don't want to see your wars end like ours. Yeah. And they don't get information from the outside. And, and when I got that information from the outside, it forced me to, to readdress where I was. And it was hard, but it maybe saved my life. And, and so, I mean, I, I may actually owe my life to some very brave German citizens who were willing to offend me with the truth. We will try what we can. Dieter Dehm is a member of German Parliament and he will play songs from Bertolt Brecht. But we should stay oh, together. It's so honored to be next to him and I know him before through media, through internet, uh, but uh, just I wish to meet him one day in person. Hi everybody, um, my name is Mattis and I'm still technically a sergeant in the US Army, hopefully not for much longer. And yesterday we were going to have this moment at the rally so that everybody could share and true reconciliation from the very bottom of society manifesting to the top. Unfortunately, violence, as it usually does, prevented it. Today I wanna I wanna look my eye in the eye. And I wanna tell her how sorry I am for the violence that my army has done to your people, to your country. I want to apologize to you for the role that I played in it. I was wrong, and I wish only that my country and the rest of the world could come to a place where they could admit wrong. The legacy of this summit, of these actions, will not be violence. It will be this grassroots friendship that was formed between U.S. troops an Afghani people who refuse to fight and hate each other anymore. This, this, whole, this whole trip, I believe, was maybe just to meet you, to have this moment where, uh, where we could come together. And thank you for being so receptive. I mean, you could be hateful to me. You could be, you could be really angry at me. And uh, no, no, no. We are, we are honored for that, that soon you um, become aware and that your uh, government are deceiving you and also First of all, they uh, victim you. You are an example of victim that they um, uh, they are sending you for not good cause, for bad cause, yeah, for war crimes. Not only you, thousands like you, that we wish that all of them, they will stand up next to you and they sh all of you stand up next to uh, these um, people who are suffering there in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Palestine, today what's going on in Pakistan, they are going to do, do war crime. And uh, all of these are because of the wrong policies uh, of U.S. government, first of all, and then NATO that follow the footpath mm. of the U.S. government, mm. which is uh, both is a war mechanism, I think. Mm. And uh, I think let's to change all of these tears to strength, to hopes, mm. to courage, to mm. determination, to fight more against uh, these wrong policies uh, in U.S. and Afghanistan.
in Iraq every year. I'm speechless, really. How to show the love of my people to you, how to pass their regards. Which, we'll, we'll pass which my a, love on to all of them, I mean. I will. And let I them will. know just because I can't see them suffering doesn't mean I don't mm -hmm. feel them suffering. No, and I won't stop struggling to free them because they are enslaved right now by the U.S. And it's as wrong as slavery was against the black people in the 1800s. And, and, and everybody deserves to be free, uh, yeah. you know, especially Afghani people who have for so long been occupied. And, and, and I, this, this I didn't know that you are coming here. Yeah. And these friends didn't tell me, maybe, maybe because to be surprised. Like, they know that because everywhere I'm going, as example, I mentioned your name and I said, oh, she's, he, he's not only hero for peace-loving people in Europe and U.S. for people of Afghanistan as well.